Corticosteroids, or more commonly known as just steroids, are one of the widest used drugs in dermatology and in rheumatology. Every day in my clinic, we prescribe a lot of steroids to our patients. However, steroids have garnered a very bad name for itself in the skincare world. There are lots of side effects when you overly use corticosteroids in skincare or on your skin. And these usually include over thinning of your skin, there is vasculitis, and at the same time, something we call telangiectasia. However, steroids are still very beneficial for our day-to-day -day use, especially in the clinical settings and if you're suffering from some sort of chronic skin disease. So in this video, we'll be sharing you four benefits of using corticosteroids on a regular basis. However, disclaimer, most places you should always use a corticosteroid upon a prescription from your pharmacies or a doctor. But before we continue with the video, most of you are not subscribers to our channel. So please just smash the subscribe button and be notified for new videos when it comes out on a weekly basis. Great day, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor, and welcome to Skin Fix, the platform whereby we educate you everything about skin. And in today's topic, we'll be discussing about the benefits of using corticosteroids. Corticosteroid is a man-made synthetic drug which closely resembles cortisol, which is produced by your adrenal gland. And the main function of a corticosteroid, whether it's a tablet or it's a cream or it's an injection, is to reduce inflammation. Now, in today's video, we'll be discussing about topical corticosteroids. So here are four benefits of using corticosteroids on a regular basis. Number four, it helps reduce eczema flare-up. Now, eczema is a skin condition which is characterized by chronic itch and hence what happens, there's a disruption of your skin barrier. Now, in people who are prone to eczema, their skin is really sensitive to certain allergic triggers. The allergic triggers can vary from person to person. It could be something like dust, something like heat, or even something like dust mites. Now, it doesn't matter what you're allergic to, the moment the person is exposed to something they're allergic to, it actually, there is very mild skin irritation and inflammation of the skin. Now, over time, this particular skin irritation and inflammation will cause the skin to be really itchy. And once a person starts to scratch it, there is more irritation and skin inflammation. Now, the reason we don't want you to actually scratch it is because by scratching your skin, you're exposing your, your, the inner parts of your skin to bacteria and hence, there'll be bacterial infection of the skin. So using corticosteroids, the moment it starts to itch, it's important to actually break the itch cycle. So for someone with eczema, you should always use corticosteroid creams from time to time, especially when your skin starts to itch. However, a word of advice if you're using corticosteroids, if you have chronic eczema, is discontinue the steroid the moment your skin stops to itch. One way to discontinue the cream is to slowly reduce the amount of cream that you use and then from maybe two or three times a day to even just once a day. And replace the cream with something without corticosteroids, something like a ceramide-based cream. The third reason why we use corticosteroids very oftenly is to reduce psoriasis. Psoriasis is a chronic skin condition whereby there's an overgrowth of keratin and the stratum corneum, which is the top layer of your epidermis. Psoriasis is a genetic issue and hence it is not curable, but we could always control it. Now in psoriasis, we generally advise you to use steroids generously. That means you can use it multiple times a day and you can use even some of the least stronger steroids. Now, if you have psoriasis, we are not afraid of overuse of steroids because one of the downside of using too much steroids is thinning of the skin, which is an effect that we want if you have psoriasis. And in many of the times, if you have a psoriatic plaque or a big lesion, we even do intradermal, which is injection of steroids under the skin. However, before you start with any steroid creams or injections, please consult your dermatologist first. Hey, before we continue with the video, a quick quiz for all of you. Can you name me some steroid creams that you can find in your home or in a drugstore near you? Type in the comments below. Reason number two we still use corticosteroids in dermatology is to treat vitiligo. One of the most famous celebrity that suffers from vitiligo is Michael Jackson. Vitiligo is an autoimmune disease, means 
that your own immune system is attacking the skin cells in your body. And specifically, it's targeting the melanocytes. Hence, there is depigmentation, means that this whitish discoloration of your skin. Now, one way to reduce the depigmentation is to reduce the immune response by applying steroid on the depigmented area. However, nowadays, we are slowly trying to transition away from steroids for vitiligo and use something what we call biologics, which are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory creams. However, in many parts of the world whereby they are unable to afford very expensive vitiligo creams, usage of corticosteroid is still the best bet to reduce vitiligo. And the number one reason we still use corticosteroids in our daily basis is to reduce heat rash. Heat rash is a kind of atopic dermatitis or a kind of inflammation that occurs due to excessive heat. Now, this causes very mild skin irritation and inflammation, and then there'll be over drying of the skin. However, if you're suffering from heat rash, and the moment you start that your skin is starting, starting to itch or have a mild inflammation, start using a very, very mild corticosteroid cream on your skin. Something like a betamethasone or a trimethanolone cream. And most of the time, generally after one or two uses of this cream, the heat rash generally will start to dissipate, start to reduce, and even disappear. Now, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, four different uses for corticosteroid, especially in dermatology. Don't be afraid of the word steroids. However, before you start applying steroids, please get advice from your nearest drugstore or your doctor. Before we end the video, we will highly appreciate it if you can like, subscribe, and forward this video to your family and friends. And do not forget to turn on the bell button because we release new videos on a weekly basis. That's it from me. I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor. And always remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay in form. Are you tired of wasting time and money on your skin, but nothing works? We are here to help. SkinFix is a platform that provides personal care education completely free. SkinFix is run by skin doctors and skincare experts. You can chat and consult with our skin doctors without ever leaving your home. Other than free advice, SkinFix also provides tailor-made solutions for your skin problem with customized medical-grade skincare delivered right to your doorstep. SkinFix, your digital skin doctor.